What's up guys, this is the Honest Outlaw here, and today we are gonna be talking about a Glock trigger. Uh, specifically, the Tactical Pontoon Excommunicado. Now, I got a hold of Tactical Pontoon because I loved the Apex trigger that I previously had in this. It's got a really good pull. And however, it has kind of a slower reset, and I'm kind of a trigger snob, especially when it comes to aftermarket triggers. I want them to do what I want them to do. And a lot of people ask me, what trigger should you get? Well, that really depends on what you're looking for. There's all kinds of different things that go into a trigger, particularly a Glock trigger, because Glock triggers can vary wildly. Something like a 1911 trigger is gonna be good regardless of what you get, but you can get a Glock trigger anywhere from like eight pounds down to like three pounds, depending on what variations you get into it, and you can get it to break uh, smoothly, or you can get it to break very crisp. You can have a very solid reset, a very short reset, a very long reset, whatever you wanna do. And for this particular gun, which I I have a tendency to like to shoot fast. I wanted a smooth uh, trigger pull, but that wasn't my number one purpose. My number one purpose was is I wanted a quick reset. And not just a short reset, but a quick reset. I wanted a lot of pressure behind that trigger uh, to help push my finger back out to increase the speed I can go in and out and have repetitive shots. So that's kind of what this trigger is all about, really. It's about speed. So I'll show you the trigger here real quick, and then we'll go down and try it out. I haven't even shot this yet, so. See the pull, very smooth, definitely under five pounds. You can see the reset is extremely positive. I can barely even, like my apex, you kind of have to like take your finger off and let it come out. Whereas this trigger, it'll push it out right as you ride. So overall, very smooth. Another thing I really like about it is that it comes with this really nice flat face trigger. And on top of that, I got the gold and black. I got the black trigger with the gold little accents there. Come with a ton of different colors. And the triggers themselves look really sharp also. And even have a little, what looks to be a little Punisher logo in there as well. So overall, the trigger seems exactly what I want, but we won't know until we get out of the range. So let's go find out. All right, so I had this optic right on the Trinity Nevada slide. So I'm gonna have to re-zero it again real quick. And after that, we'll hit the steel. Well, that is an impressive group. I think it's pretty good. All touching at 10 yards. I can tell you already, this is my trigger. I like this trigger. There we go, now we're just a hair left. All right, so we got six rounds, six targets, uh, six inch plates at 25 yards on the plate rack, and we'll just plink at them. The last one always falls when I hit the other one next to it because their plate rack's angled just ever slightly backward. But uh, so far, so good. Usually we do distance later in the video. We're just gonna start with it this time to throw things off a little bit. I think. A good measure of accuracy is, is with a trigger and a, and a dot working in unison is kind of a pie plate at 50 yards. That's kind of the accuracy uh, I hold myself to. And luckily I've got a steel target down there that's similar in size. It's about a 10 inch steel target. So we'll get on the targets, we'll get a little lower. And if I can hit that consistently, I'm good. But we'll see if we can get even a little crazier and try to hit the pepper poppers and stuff.
that's pretty good. Now remember, this is a stock Glock barrel, and the trigger is just a drop in, so that's pretty good for that. Can't see that one very well because it's on the Ipsic target. Well, I can do a plate rack at 50 yards. Group at 50 yards. That's a pretty solid little group. Got two flyers though. Those are not good. But in all fairness, that is some incredible work at 50. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna engage perp one and then perp two and then do a plate rack. Oh, empty mag, that's not good. You've been having too much fun. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're out of ammo. Clean my dot every once in a while, maybe I'd be able to see. Since this is my home defense gun and I've already done all the accuracy stuff, I figure with the last mag, I just do some home defense stuff. And I like to do a home defense drill uh, where I'm essentially taking on two close range people. Because how I feel if I'm ever gonna have a home defense scenario that I'm really concerned about, what I'm really concerned about is more than one person and if you had to engage people quickly. So I just practice this every once in a while where I just try to put Two on perp A, two on perp B, and sometimes I'll do a two, a two four two. So like that, something like that. But it's fast. I like that trigger. That trigger staying. I'd have to say overall, it's not quite as smooth as the Apex as far as accuracy, but it makes up for it in speed for sure. I like the uh, reset a great deal. I like the positive reset. And in order to get that, you have to put a little heavier spring, which makes the trigger pull a little heavier. But overall, under use with an actual round in the chamber and pulling the trigger, you don't notice that stuff at all anyway. That's all for trigger pull gauges and stuff like that. Overall, I think the gun is gonna benefit greatly from this trigger. And now that I have the SRO on it, and I have the trigger I want. All I need now is a set of suppre suppressor height sights and uh, the TLR-7A that's coming in the mail. If you want to get a hold of a tactical pontoon uh, excommunicado trigger, they're around $225. You can get them from his website. 
they are worth it in my opinion and the name itself is extremely cool to have a john wick inspired uh, uh trigger in my john wick inspired build just seems like it fits if you like this video please like and subscribe please support your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle i'll check you later